So Coromart still stands empty. After all these years, it's just waiting for somebody to come and give it a bit of TLC, but it could never be because the requirements to have it brought up to code are just on, you might as well tear it down. On the other hand, if you wanted to do it and preserve it, you could, but it's kind of like no one's doing anything. The owners are unreasonable. The rent is outrageous through the roof and uh, nobody, it's almost like they're punishing the community by not doing something about it. We could open like, you know, like, uh, what could be interesting? The pink shop. Every single thing in it was pink. That could be an attraction, maybe not. And look, just as a kind of a, like a fishing coda, the last phone booth in Coronado, I believe. I think there's one by the beach, but they don't, we don't use phone booths anymore. And that's just, it's rather fitting, isn't it? So there you have it, Al Grant from the Coronado Clarion. pedestrian came by right in the middle of our report and started smiling at me like he or I was a mental patient. I don't know which, doesn't matter. I did not acknowledge. I went on with my report. However, now he's doing, oh wait a minute. He's doing choreography now. Okay, I'm glad I didn't say hello to him. Something's wrong with him. So there you have it. The old Coromart, those of us who know what I'm talking about, the others of you, if you don't know, well just don't watch this video. Once in a while, people come in and put a sign up here, you know, like this for free. And uh, one time I took the entire building and I put all of my uh, book publishing stuff all over it for a day and took pictures of it. And then all the homeless used to live in here. So I'd, every day I'd say, get out of here. And I even put a sign up there that said, get out or no trespassing or something like that. Anyway, so look, there you have it. This is an unreinforced masonry building. Unreinforced masonry buildings may be unsafe in the event of a major earthquake. No sh kidding. Could be fixed up. If you really wanted to, you could fix it up. Couldn't you? I uh, guess I'm whining a bit. I just want to see some kind of action. The city council, whoever's running this year, should enact some kind of punitive measure for a shitty looking building for buildings that don't look good in the community. And they should do something about it. Or at least they should say, well, put a coat of paint on it that's green and put some like green Coronado flags or something to make it look, you know, nice. They shouldn't have to, it shouldn't have to be like this. Two intractable brothers who just fought to hell over it before they closed it down. Then they raised the rent through the roof like nobody could possibly rent it and then when you went to say, well, okay, I'll rent it, they say, yeah, but you've got to do all the upgrades, which is like 350 grand, maybe even more, just to do the retro. And it's like, enough, silly. Tear it down or do something with it. At least paint the bloody front. That's my opinion, what's yours? I don't care about that, but. So everybody's got an idea about this. And I met this lady, she has a kind of an interesting idea. What's your idea? Hi. Um, I think it should be a space for families to come together, eat, play games, not electronic games, but like hands-on, shuffleboard, Jenga, checkers, stuff like that. Yeah. And where you kind of come together, you can eat, have some drinks, have fun, and it could just be inviting and, and casual. So and instead enjoy. of just being like shuffled into seats in restaurants mm -hmm. and, and, and have X amount of time in it, you bring, you're, you're more talking like a social event exactly. here. Yeah, so somewhere you can go, something casual, something where... Um, there's not there's great restaurants here right now, but we don't really have anywhere where the kids you know the kids are at a table they look at the iPad. Or, you That's know, it. That's <laughs> it's a different generation, yeah. isn't it? So I mean something where everybody you know you can have a drink, you can not have a drink, you can have a little snack kind of food, but the kids can have something. Cool. That, you know a big Jenga thing or a big twister or you know something kind of. Fun. Okay, so when do we open? Soon. <laughs> What's your name? Mandy. Mandy, great idea. Well, there you go, that's Mandy's idea. Uh, I want to open like a cage fighting or something like that, or old lady wrestling or something. But, but you remember now, it's 15 grand a month just to open it, and then another 400,000 to fix it up. If you wanted to occupy it as a business, they, the city requires that you fix it up. Yeah. 
So it's kind of negligible. In community ah, together. That would be a. And let's say you had someone that could construct it, someone that could paint it, some you know you kind yeah. of pull together your resources because it's going to be a community uh, property. You're a hippie. That, then then it would work. Well, so everybody how about, benefits. How about the owner throwing in, throwing in well, some? Would, you know what I mean? Because I mean this is just sitting. I mean I've never I've been here for almost 12 years. Been like this almost 20 years. So, it's horrible. Yeah. So now it's Very just a sad. Waste of space that we could be using yeah. to to give back and to enjoy our community. So why don't so. you run for city council? I should. <laughs> Mandy for city council. <laughs> <laughs>